Mr. Investalot, welcome back to the channel, baby. Today we're going to be talking about Nano Dimension and potentially how lucrative their partnership with this James platform could be. I've been away for a while, baby. As you guys may know, I'm a student nurse, so I was just banging off an assignment. Once I've finished this, I'm back to full time content creation. So today we're going to be talking about Nano Dimension's partnership for the platform James with Hensolt. Let's also talk about the other company they partnered with, Elfrey Harris. And finally, institutional investors. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel, baby. We look for big, juicy growth stocks. If you're able to support the channel, please click the join button above my head. But if you're unable to, please hit me with a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment as well. I read them all and I'd love to hear from you. And always remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. So guys, you may have seen this already. It's Nano Dimension and Hensol announcing their partnership on a platform called James. James stands for Jetted Additively Manufactures Electronic Sources. So within this partnership, Hensol and Nano Dimension have both invested, co-invested $6 million into the new venture. Let's talk a little bit about who Hensol is, what kind of contracts they get in place, and why joint ventures like this can be lucrative. Make it rain. I need a dollar, dollar. So the little bromance they got going on here with Yoav Stern and the head of Hensolt. This is a, the beginning of a long friendship, that's how I feel. It's great to see you, it's really yeah. so awesome. So let's take a look at Hensolt and just break down who they are and why it's a lucrative deal for us to create this platform together with them. Hensolt is a German company, they describe themselves as innovators. So what they do is they innovate for the defense industry. They say that we're the German champions. Not only this, but they have a leading market position in Europe and a global reach. And if we take a look in terms of revenues, we can see for 2020, they estimate that they generated revenues of 1.2 billion euros. Currently, what they were talking about is expanding their cyber portfolio and developing new products to combat a wide range of threats. So to do this, they're going to be focusing on innovative approaches for data management, robotics and cybersecurity. And if we look at their annual report, if we just go down here, you can see their order intake was 2.5 billion euros worth. And if we look at their order intake, they have 2.5 billion euros worth of orders and if we look at their backlog they actually have 3.4 billion euros worth of backlogged orders and we can see it matches up here their revenues are roughly about 1200 million 1.2 billion euros comparing this to the previous year they've actually doubled the amount of orders they've taken in 2020 they've got a growing backlog here so they had a backlog of 2.2 billion euros in 2019 2020 they had 3.4 billion euros worth of orders and also they've been growing their revenues as you can see here and if you take a look just look at what the part partnership would mean. Nano is a manufacturer of equipment and here is a customer and a supplier getting together because you as a customer were such a good user of our machine that in many ways I think you got out of our machine more than we are able to get out of our machine ourselves. And these guys, it seems month by month, they're winning more and more contracts. They're getting more orders. We can see that on July the 6th, Hensolt UK supplies the French Navy with a surface search radar. They are also supplying night vision goggles for Belgian defense and the German army. And in the first phase alone, this will amount to a high two digit million euro value. Two digits. Is it 99? Is it 98 million euros? And if we take a look just before Nano Dimension and Hensolt announce upon partnership together. Let's take a look at their most recent contract. $1 billion contract for Pegasus, which is a reconnaissance system. Can you imagine? They are always winning contracts and what they're doing as well. They're constantly building innovative solutions for different armies and different defense agencies around the world. And Pegasus is going to be using cut and Pegasus is going to be focusing on self-protection and electronic warfare. And Pegasus itself is going to be focusing on self-protection and electronic warfare. So one project, one billion. So them needing high performance electronical components and devices. They continuously innovate every single year and they're always winning contracts. Question now because we started in 2016. Yeah. 2016, I just look back and say the two companies came together, worked with each other. Mm -hmm. Right, you came with a great technology. Sure. We came with a huge demand and yeah. expertise in electronics. As you right. Huge demand and expertise in electronics. Now institutions quite like Nano Dimension, we use Fintel, we took a look here. We can see the institutional shares are 36.96%, almost 37%. Some of these institutions have an average cost basis of between seven to eight dollars, some of them as high as ten dollars. And if we take a look at ARC Invest, for example, Kathy Woods ARC, they have an average in their ARC Q portfolio of ten dollars fifty-four cents and their ARC W ETF of ten dollars fifty-four cents too, and they're holding millions of shares. So can you imagine if 
they have it an average of $10.50. What do they think Nano Dimension will become? And when Nano Dimension was recently dropping, it dropped all the way down to, I think it was $6.41. I think it may have been even lower. Look, $6.25. I remember one of the days it dropped quite significantly. So if they're willing to buy it $10.54 and have that as an average, where do they think Nano Dimension will go in the future? When looking at Nano Dimension, I think they were asked about a partnership with uh, SpaceX or they were asking about partnerships who you're currently partnering with and they said we've already told you who our partners are we have selectively chosen L3 Harris and these guys are another defense company L3 Harris Technologies are awarded these millions, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of contracts all the time. So back in January 2021, they released this news that they were awarded a $233 million contract to support Australian Defence Forces. And this was to deliver secure communications and advanced night vision goggle technology. L3 Harris is also known for delivering tactical radios. And when we go into L3 Harris's investor presentation, I wanted to see what they're currently working on. They said there's a growing need for L3 Harris's technology and offerings. They Stated that actually defense budgets around the world are flattening out so they actually need to innovate and advance towards you know these kind of resilient and affordable solutions they also stated l3 harris that they have a leading position in so many different domains on air land sea space and cyber this is amounting to billions worth of revenue and every single one of these industries every single one of these industries of kind of warfare will require high performance electrical devices and electrical components we can see it's anything from radio and communications electronic warfare they also need sensors and if the partnership between you know Hensolt and Nano Dimension is good as well as the partnership between L3 Harris and Nano Dimension we could be supplying the ink and the machines for some major major operations major contracts but strategically speaking we saw your technology and say we need to be in that yeah because it could change also our entire market yeah our customers are looking for smaller lead times yeah. you know with printing electronic devices we can work in prototypes faster, bring yeah. better products to the market. Then we look to the supply of the products later. Mm -hmm. The office gives us a huge technology advantage. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the best basis to form a partnership. So Yoav then goes on to speak about, you know, how good it will be to have this platform where you can literally get these customers, partner with them, bring together a community of everybody that wants to innovate and create 3D printed electronics that are smaller. And can you imagine if he's able to supply this machine to all of these defense manufacturers, defense agencies, when they're getting these big government contracts and Department of Defense contracts, they could be actually printing all of these electrical components and devices, supplying the ink to everybody whilst they're experimenting, building prototypes, innovating. And remember, you have said he wants to get into mass manufacturing. Previously, he spoke about a neural network of 100,000 nanodimension dragonfly simultaneously printing. I find it very unique because I think the James concept is to create a community of people who design this product, who designs this component, who uh, learn how to apply this vision to be more efficient, more uh, environmental friendly, more yeah. supportive. I'm going to be able to be part of a business to business community yeah. which is sharing data, which is sharing designs, which we are going in James to be out to, to be able to have even a laboratory with somebody who wants to say have a design that other people share but he's not sure the design can be prototyped properly yeah. we'll be able to give him a service yeah. in-house so we'll prototype it for you absolutely and it actually works and remember it's not just these two partnering up they're trying to build this community platform so they've already spoken to several other companies like you said here so when we first met and discussed the concept and we also talked to other companies we realized together that it's amazing to see that in each and any company working in the electronic parts, there are a couple of people fascinated by this technology and by this concept. But if only a small group of people are working in those bigger corporations, could you now imagine this James with bring all of those people together on the platform? What will happen to the technology? readiness level and how yeah. quick we come to the market. I'm very much looking forward to see this. And I think I'm very thankful that the two companies found together yeah. that we really change the world here together. Change the world here together. And if we take a look at Hensolt's mission, it's always good to look at a company's values and missions because you can see where they're headed, what they've been focused on from the beginning. So they have said that they exist to pioneer technologies and human potential that promote the protection of all kinds of species worldwide. Our activities shall serve the higher purpose of securing the freedom and future of our planet, our nature and our lives. We strive to become Europe's leading platform independent provider of defense and security sensor solutions with global reach. Thomas Muller, CEO of Hensolt. 
Here's a quick video also on hen salt. You can see how they detect and protect. We are a world leader in missile and laser warning systems with more than 8,000 sensors sold. We have delivered over 3,000 periscopes to this day and equipped more than 30 naval forces worldwide with our sensor solutions. We are capitalizing on 30 years of proven track record for armored vehicles and battle tank optronics and supply sophisticated scope and night vision devices. Our border surveillance sensors secure numerous critical infrastructures and military installations worldwide. Our most important asset are our highly qualified employees. Our people create innovative solutions. Together, we are working for a safer world. Being a European platform independent defense and security electronic solutions provider is key to our success. Solutions for friend and foe identification provide both civil air traffic control and military applications. To support the pilot mission under all environmental conditions, our solutions complement the human eyesight in civil and military aircraft. More than 100 years of experience in periscopes and optronic mass systems, as well as in fire control, reconnaissance, and surveillance equipment and sensors. With our highly skilled people in field service, training, and in-service support, we ensure continuous functionality over years. With our global footprint, we are serving customers all over the world. Pensolt, your reliable provider for premium electronic sensor solutions. So they're providing these solutions for various platforms, including helicopters, UAVs, drones, aircrafts, ship submarines, armored vehicles, and satellites. So let me know what you've been up to. I've been accumulating shares on a weekly basis of both BNGO, Nano Dimension and Palantir. If you're able to support the channel, please click the join button above my head. But if you're unable to, please hit the like and click subscribe. Remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. Drop me some comments below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings of where you think Nano Dimension is going to be going and who we're going to acquire next as well. I wish you all the best, my cowboys, and I'll see you in the next video. Mr. Over and out, baby.